Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. My name is Nin Hayati binti Muhammad Yusof. I'm from Electrical Engineering Department, Polytechnic Port Dickson. Today I will like to present design of IoT smart system, IoT SS, the development phase. Then this paper consists three and uh, four uh four chapter. First is introduction, methodology, result, and the last is con uh, conclusion. Introduction, IoT, Internet of Things, connecting any object, people, and thing to the internet that are provided with a unique identifier, identifier, and ability to transfer data and communicate over a network. IoT SS is the automated centralized control of a building, heating, lighting, air conditioner, and other system to a building management system. That consists embedded devices. The embedded devices categorize low memory, low power, low cost, and small size. Due to the high demand of embedded devices connected over the internet, they become challenging and impact. Dealing with the large number of embedded devices and technology became a serious problem in achieving the interoperability among the different manufacturers in multiple environment, environment and system. Therefore, the main objective of IoT SS platform is to provide technical support and facilities which can be fully utilized by multidisciplinary developer of IoT application focused on automation and energy efficiency for smart green building. The focus of this study to design of IoT SS to achieve effective communication between embedded devices and system and the objective of this paper to present the design of IoT SS based on phase 2 waterfall model objective the methodology waterfall de development model is used as a guideline for gathering evaluating and reporting information in development of IoT SS. This paper present only the result of the second phase of waterfall model. Uh, there are the design and model phase. In the design and model phase, it is divided two parts. There are IoT SS design and algorithm design. However, for this paper, we focus on IoT SS design. And this is the IoT platform structure based on the recommend analysis for development uh, involves four critical aspects. First is the network IPv6 recommend and infrastructure of building and how IPv6 can integrate with other technology. Second, the seed open application requirement and its standardization toward a new embedded application protocol for building automation. And third, novel algorithm model and scalable solution for energy efficiency. And fourth, the recommend analysis of rapid development and integration of building management application. As a result, the, this is the IoT SS design layout with four types of application. First, seal open module test bag. Second, seal open smart devices. Third, seal open uh, smart socket. And fourth, seal open smart portable socket. And this is the first application of IoT SS. This is seal open module test bag, a complete hardware platform, a performance test platform, and software environment for CC2538 system on chip. And the table shows the list of all necessary equipment recommend for the implementation of physical deployment 
scenario. The consist is 13 sensor node, one border router and one sniffer. Anti silopen socket apply 10 silopen socket where use can be where user can use and control them directly using smartphone and voice. The six socket design uh, model as on the screen. And the last design is silopen portable socket. Apply uh, for IoT SS, we apply 10 silopen portable socket that can be used anywhere and anytime. The seat port design S and on the screen. And seat loss were designed based on three types of human computer interaction as below. The room environment responds to human displays. Uh, the level of fan speed is controlled by room temperature and human position. Second, embedded devices monitoring. Example, device is automatically switched off when the person leaves the uh, room to save energy. Third is user awareness. Example, standard touch screen is uh, showing all information. And as a conclusion, this paper was uh, intended to support the ongoing research project by analyzing the existing solution to be considered for IoT SS development. It has explored existing platform and solution that could be relevant for IoT SS. IoT SS has the potential to be platform in providing digital digital services in IoT implementation for Malaysia showcase for future wireless technology. As future works, we want to analyze and present the implementation plan for IoT SS including the list of equipment and hardware and develop deployment for plan or for IoT SS dashboard. That's all my presentation today. Thank you very much.